Hello, my dear students. Welcome you all to the botany class. In today's class, we shall discuss about APG system of uh, classification, and which is a uh, commonly called a modern system of classification. Okay, APG stands for Angels Firm Phylogeny Group. Okay, so I think I hope you're all good at your health as well as your studies. With that, we shall start with the class. Okay, here with a rapid advance in the field of molecular research with respect to DNA sequencing over the past three decades, provides a new databases for classifying edge sperm more precisely. Means the APG system is mainly meant and which is mainly based on the molecular. sequencing molecular studies of uh, the dna with the efforts of two international groups of systematic botanists from uh, royal swedish academy of sciences second one missouri botanical garden with the help of both of these two organizations a new umbrella of angus for phylogeny group that is apg is framed in the year of 1998 okay with the help of with the efforts of 29 botanical systematics around the world apgc was proposed means uh, apg committee angiosperm phylogeny group committee was uh, proposed okay apg relies on the synthesis of information from disciplines of many fields like uh, morphology like anatomy embryology phytochemistry and uh, more strongly on uh, molecular studies it mainly depends on uh, molecular studies means uh, classifying the plants based on uh, the differences in the dna differences in the molecular structure of the genetic material with reference to dna sequences in the chloroplast chloroplast dna and also with the ribosomal dna also called nuclear ribosomal dna so everything based on the molecular data basis okay the study of the dna structure of dna number of base pairs like that everything was based on the molecular structures molecular data basis that's how it is a, a modern system of classification right now let's see some of the salient features of uh, apg system of uh, classification apg classification firstly this system is based on sound phylogenetic principle of uh, constructing taxa on the basis of established monophyly simply based on uh, phylogenetic principle phylogenetic means uh, based on uh, evolutionary relationship how was the dna how is the dna like that right and the uh, traditional division of angiosperm has been abandoned and uh, various monocot taxa placed in between uh, primitive angiosperm and uh, eudicots means the old systems like uh, natural system artificial system they are all been abandoned they have been neglected and they classified a new system thirdly the monocots are placed under two groups the camelinids and the rest of the monocots okay monocots and camelinids two groups these two groups find their place after primitive angiosperms primitive angiosperms monocots and advanced angiosperms here at the first the apg in 1998 was recognized with the 462 families under 40 monophyletic orders which were classified under few informal monophyletic higher groups such as monocots eudicots rosids astrids etc and uh, there are 81 unplaced families as per the apg 1998 means apg proposed in 19 98 after few years apg2 that is in 
2003, FH2 recognized 457 families under 45 orders. Of the 45 orders, 44 are placed in 11 informal groups and uh, contrary to APG 1998 which has 81 unplaced families in APG 2, this number has been uh, reduced to 40. Means uh, out of 81 unplaced, uh, about 41 are placed in respective orders and respective higher categories. This is a brief comparison of uh, APG 1998 and APG 2003. Better you pause the video and uh, take a screenshot, then you will get a clear idea about this. Okay. And remember, this is not required for examination, it is just for understanding how the classification systems are modified. Okay. APG 3 in uh, 2009, published in October 2009 by a team of uh, 8 scientists in the name of uh, APG3 by Professor uh, P. F. Stevens led the revised edition and uh, year 2009 the scientist P. F. Stevens total there are 413 families as per APG3 and except 10 families like uh, Ceratophilaceae, Boraginaceae, rest of the 4 not 3 families are assigned to 59 orders means uh, out of all these families out of 413 families 403 families are assigned to orders but only 10 families are remained unassigned means 10 families uh, could not be placed in any of the orders means the characters could not match with any of the orders and uh, as per APG3 there are 11 clades, clades 59 orders, 413 families unplaced within the orders, 10 families means 10 families are not placed in any orders and uh, tax of uh, uncertain position that is uh, 2 families like uh, Apodanthese or Sinomorese, 3 genera Gulmilla, Gumilia, Petinia, Nicori, Dendron, three genera are not placed in any of the higher categories right so this is a, a brief outline of uh, the angiosperms right and apg4 in uh, 2006 published on march 24 2016 having 64 orders 416 families and uh, there are seven genera which are unplaced, which are not placed in any of the groups, right. So, this is a brief outline of the APG4, okay. You can see how the families, orders, super orders are placed respectively, right. And the family delimitations in APG, what are the family delimitations? Acilipedase merged with the aposinase means what are the families which are merged into one order or the plants belonging to two families will be merged into one family. For example, uh, state bank of many state banks are being merged into only one state bank like that uh, the families are merged means the plants coming under those two families will be merged and they will be considered under only one family like that. So, you can have a, a list of this, okay. Just pause the video and take a screenshot, okay. First, I will explain Acilipidaceae merged with the Aposinaceae means whatever the members of Acilipidaceae are there, they will now belong to the Aposinaceae. Next, second one, uh, Bombaceae, Circulaceae, Teleaceae are merged with the Malvaceae means members of all the above three families will be belonging to Malvaceae means the families, the plants of all those four families have almost all similar characteristics. They have almost all similar characteristics. Hence, the families will be merged into one common family, into one common family. So, like that all these are the examples which have been 
merged with respect to the common characteristics right as per this the largest families are so orchidaceae asteraceae fabaceae rubiaceae poaceae right so these are the largest families according to apg system right i think this is enough about apg system of classification we'll see uh, many more details in a further classes till that keep learning one more thing students you are not watching the videos daily basis okay yeah, sometimes you will watch once in a week you will watch once in a month it's not that good for your uh, studies better you skip watching the videos whenever you get in a uh, the whatsapp group okay please don't neglect the classes it's not that good time to waste your time please make use of time otherwise you will lose what you are supposed to do in your future please don't do that i hope you will follow the classes etc thank you and all jai hind